Have I crossed the line? I hear the beep beep of the alarm and the rustling of the covers and a bunk above me. I hear the feet touch the ground, my eyes open, and I hear the door close. I am laying in bed thinking of the day ahead, about the names I'll be called, about the teachers that will dismiss me, about the long day where I am known by a label that was given to me based on a test. The whistle blows and I hear an admin call out. Good morning, fish! I hear the beep beep of my alarm clock as I stretch, move the covers, my mind runs through the morning routine as I grab my towel off the hook and head for the shower. Just before closing the door behind me, I look back and see one camper's face change from anxious to calm. I wonder what runs through his mind. I am not home. I am at camp where I am known as cool, brave, and awesome. My counselors believe in me and I feel like the cold soak in my skin as the waterfront and I feel the sun beat on my back and I feel everything because I don't have to be numb. Back in the bunk, I see him sit up. Okay, what do you want to wear today? I hold up the blanket along his bed. As he changes, I focus on the new day ahead. We line up outside and walk to the bathhouse. My first block starts and one kid is not listening. Another waits eagerly for the next instruction. The waterfront song can be heard all over camp. I catch myself chanting loudly. I look over and see him sit and say the song quietly. His day has begun. My day begins at the waterfront. As I join in on the song, I wonder which lifeguard will teach me. As I run into the water, I am soaked and feel cold for a moment, and then morning sun rays strike my skin. But I feel safe here. Nothing can pierce through me. I feel safe. I look at the lesson board, and then I show him the mushroom float. He curls up in a ball and floats on the surface. This position is familiar to him, but floating is not. He is normally curled up on his bed, drowning in the weight of his tears, or curled up in the corner of a playground because some teacher has yelled at him, and he doesn't know how to fix it. I'm floating. I'm not sinking into my bed, into the thoughts of failure. I stand up, and smile breaks across my face. I know that I am in a safe place, here where my lifeguard is right through each step at my own pace with an example each time. I show him a front glide and watch as he rolls onto his back and glides. I smile and say, that was great, but can we try it on your front? I fall into the water, push my arms back as I easily glide forward toward the sunlight. I look back for the next instruction. My lifeguard praises me and shows the flutter kick that another whistle blows and I hear everyone say, stop and listen. I get him out of the water and change our buddy tags. We cross the red line to get our towels. I wonder what other lines he crossed to get here. Was it because he punched the bully or because he screamed at a teacher in frustration too many times or because he sat through a math test and only finished one problem because the numbers on the page kept moving or because his leg kept shaking and his face and he is shaking and he can focus and the problem on the page only had two steps but he couldn't make the couldn't get, think of the first step because he couldn't focus. All I heard, all he heard, was the boy sitting next to him whispering that word. I may not get the full story, but I about why this boy is here. But I will get the story he wants to share, the one that helps me understand where he comes from, not the one in his file, but the one he wants to create, the one where he can cross the lines his teachers and peers said he couldn't. <laughs>